Hi guys, and welcome to this special edition of the Ask Nugget Show. This week, we've taken some questions from the Chart Guys trading community. Now, obviously, their focus is um, technical analysis and trading, so hopefully I can give you some insight to the other half of the crypto world, the fundamentals. The first question comes from Dave, and it's about gaming coins. So I've touched a little bit about um, decent bet and fun fair in terms of gaming and gambling, but in terms of pure online gaming plays. This is a huge industry. We often don't think about it that much in Australia or even the US, but throughout Asia, this is huge. And we see it now, the next generation, millions of people spending hours online every day in the online and virtual world. So a few of my favorite gaming projects would be Wax in terms of their online items. And we're seeing um, the technology catch up with that in terms of non-fungible tokens. So um, things that can't be split, you know, it's a solid item in the, the digital world. Play Key is one that I've covered where you can play the latest video games on the highest settings from an old laptop by streaming and rendering that game from someone with a better computer um, in a node nearby in your neighborhood. So exciting project. First Blood is one that's been worked on for a while. Uh, Engine Coin as well, allowing heaps of developers to build games in the, in the same virtual world is a really exciting concept. And again, use those items from game to game. Smaller projects, game credits, Decentraland, um, Unicoin Gold. So there's plenty out there. Hopefully I've given you a few names to do a bit more research into. The next question comes from James and it's about ship chain. So this is um, one in the US that's had a few issues. It's actually down 95% since ICO. So a few allegations against the CEO that end up being a bit unproven. Um, they got a cease and desist order at one point for possibly being a security token in South Carolina and selling to US citizens. So look, it's had its share of issues and a lot of you guys like the fundamentals and you know logistics is a, is a great case um, for blockchain and tracking. So you've got to ask yourself about how important is that token to the utility of the project? Is it required if this platform grows and everyone's using it? they have to use this token? Is it de directly related to the company's success? Or is it just there to give a few discounts and side benefits and you know who's really going to hold it and, and all those sort of questions. So read that white paper, read those token economics. But I guess your question is, James, there's other projects that are down 95% that haven't had any bad news that you maybe like. So for me, if there's two projects and I know everyone wants to hold on to their losers and get out when they're back to even or whatever but if there's a really good project you like that's down 95% um, I think you asked me about Wabi the other day it's had no bad news and it's down as much as one that has had issues or a coin that's given no announcements and no progress well I think in that case it's a no-brainer to move to the one that you really like if they're both down 95% so hopefully that helps you um, make a decision there. The next question comes from Alexander about the weekly equilibrium pattern that we're seeing on the Bitcoin chart in terms of the technical. So when this breaks, would you rather be in the top 20 coins or small altcoins? What's going to perform best? So the two things that I'd say here is that the higher you go, I guess the more certainty it is. Think of it as maybe blue chip stocks. So, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, very high market cap coins, but obviously it's harder for them to grow. You know, Bitcoin's not necessarily going to do 100x compared to a market cap coin of $1 million. So I think we're going to see institutional money or, you know, that big investor, it's more likely to go into those Bitcoin, Ethereum, and those investment products that we're going to have. We've got coins now like Crypto20, um, you know, in the top 10 that are going to invest in those larger cap coins because it's pretty hard for them to invest in a coin with a market cap of a few million. It's impossible. They'd move the price too much. So the hard part is doing your research because yes, I think the good small cap coins have got a lot more room to the upside in terms of their market cap. As we said, some of these are down in the single digit million dollars and it's easy for those to grow if they succeed to be you know, a hundred million, two hundred million dollar company, and that's a hundred x return from where they currently are. So the hard part is picking which companies that is, and that's why we do fundamental analysis because, yeah, ninety nine percent are probably going to fail. But if you can pick those good ones and do that research, then I think there's going to be big gains to be had, particularly now that some of these have retraced, you know, over ninety percent. Next question comes from Cryptoby, and he's saying, "What's your top five projects?" And this is. So hard to answer. So I guess people forget that 
Bitcoin and Ethereum have such a head start. So Bitcoin's got you know a 10-year head start and so many developers and such a big community. Ethereum's the same. I think 250,000 developers working on Ethereum or Ethereum-based projects. So those two have got a big head start. And then it's probably down to the, another tier of coins that have been around for a long time with a great community. So you know, Litecoin just bought a 10% stake in a bank. They're working closely with Arbra, the phone app, which I think is going to help adoption worldwide. Um, coins like Monero, huge privacy community. It's used you know, widely on websites um, and on the dark net. Litecoin and Monero are even talking about possibly working together in the future and that sort of thing. So that's probably the next tier. And then the next tier under that is coins that are um, exciting technologies, but yet to be really scaled and a little bit unproven. So we've got you know, IOTA, um, all the protocols that are competing, EOS, NEM, um, Cardano, EO, um, NEO, sorry, VeChain, Walton Chain, you know, the list goes on and on. A few other projects I really like, Binance, Amisago, um, really doing good things, active development, you know, Binance Coin has performed so well because it's attached to that um, real business model. The next question here comes from Truckstop and it's about any real usable coins, you know, what's scalable, what's being used in the real world already. So nothing is really scaled and proven um, in terms of being decentralized, secure, and having that throughput. So we've seen that triangle, um, and it's normally a trade-off. If you're going to do a million transactions per second, it normally means that you're not very decentralized, or you're giving some sort of security trade-off to reach consensus for that blockchain. So that's the issue that everyone's trying to solve at the moment. Um, how to scale but still keep decentralized and security um, nature to those protocols and blockchains. So at the moment, let's not forget that Bitcoin is usable. So it can't do thousands of transactions and compete with Visa. But if you want to ship money from anywhere in the world to somewhere else, a million dollars, you can do that for cents. So that's, you know, that's real world use case for Bitcoin. That's why it's popular. It's why it's number one. Other projects I like, um, the Brave Browser, a basic attention token. So that's just reached 4 million monthly active users and 10 million downloads. That's pretty exciting to block out your ads, tracking. We all know that privacy is a huge issue these days. So that browser has become very popular. The most used apps on the Ethereum network still don't have a lot of daily active users. So we've got a few decentralized exchanges. Um, you know, we've got CryptoKitties and a few of those non-fungible tokens and collectibles. They're the sort of basic use cases. And then we've got some new exciting projects. So Augur, the prediction market is now up and running on Ethereum. Digix, you can now buy and store gold in that digital version that represents one ounce of, ounce of gold in a real vault. We've got Horizon State. They've got a working product through MyVote using that technology. Um, Kyber Network, I did a tutorial on the other day. So a decentralized order book of sorts where you can trade straight from your hardware wallet. So, you know, sell tokens into Ethereum or Bitcoin back and forward straight from your hardware wallet nice and securely. Other projects I like, MakerDAO, so you can create loans um, through collateralized debt positions. But they've got their DAI stablecoin, and I think this is going to grow to you know billions in use in terms of the market cap of that stablecoin, and that's probably going to make that Maker governance token really important uh, and popular as well. We've got Steemit, that's a fantastic um, decentralized social media platform um, that a lot of you use already. Funfair has showed us their online gaming. They've got a few demos up there and they're working on um, scaling layer two solutions known as fate channels. So you can do thousands of clicks and then the settlement happens on the blockchain, but that's all provably fair. So really exciting project. And one you've asked me, um, you know, any that you've reconsidered and hasn't followed through. So Veritasium was one that I liked years ago and Reggie Middleton, I followed him closely since the financial crisis. He was promising you know, a decentralized stock market where you could trade Apple, Facebook pairs and all sorts of things. And they really have um, not developed the way that I thought. And that went from $50 to $500 last year when there really was little progress. So being able to sell something for a thousand percent profit when they'd gone backwards in my eyes, that was a huge bonus and reallocate that capital elsewhere. So look, I hope that project succeeds in the future, but for now, they're you know years behind that roadmap that they promised. So yeah, I, I sold. 
I hope that's helped you guys today, answered a few of your questions. Keep those questions coming in. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around, and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.